Hi everyone, welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. I'm Lisa and I've got a cute card for you today if you're a pet lover. And even if you're not a pet lover, I still think it's pretty cool. You're gonna love the layout of this card. This one uses the stamp set called Hot Diggity Dog. But if you're a cat lover, don't worry, we've got a set for you too and it's called You Little Furball. Here's the great thing about this pocket card. The greeting actually pulls out on a tag and wait till you see this adorable little head that's just begging to be loved. Come on over to the stamp table and let's get started. As I was telling you earlier, even if you're not a dog fan, we've got an adorable stamp set for cat lovers. The cat stamp set is actually called You Little Furball and it is adorable. So this exact same layout could apply with these images as well. But I'm using the stamp set called Hot Diggity Dog and you're gonna notice there's all different kinds of breeds in here with some really wonderful sayings. Let me show you how this one was created. You're going to start with a piece of cardstock that measures four and a quarter by 11. I'm going to use my paper trimmer. The first thing you're going to want to do is score this in half, or you can fold it in half. So half is at five and a half. So I'm lining it up here using my light blade to score. So now we have this. The next thing we're going to do is actually cut off one inch just on one side. So I'm going to put it back in and here at the one inch mark, it's much easier to measure from here. I am actually going to move that blade up and I'm going to use my dark blade here to cut one inch off. So now you're going to see that the front is a little bit shorter. What we're going to do now is we're going to score another inch on the short side. So back in it goes and I'm making sure I'm using my light colored blade and I'm scoring at the one inch mark. So let me just show you quickly how this is going to look. So there's the pocket. I'm using a piece of designer series paper from the package called Back to Black. It is lots and lots of fun. All of our papers are double sided, which gives you lots of choices. This measures four by three and a quarter. And that panel is going to get attached here with some snail adhesive. And you're going to see I was careful to leave a little bit of border around. The next thing I did was I took a piece of real red cardstock. This measures two inches by five inch and I'm using the angled tag topper punch. So I'm sliding my paper up inside here, holding it all the way to the back and I'm pressing and that's going to make a perfect tag. On here is where I'm going to do some stamping and I'm using the words from that same stamp set for the dogs, Hot Tickety Dog, and this says just for you, very cute. And I'm going to ink that. I'm going to stamp it right here on my tag. To finish off the tag, I have six inches of basic black baker's twine. I'm going to fold the raw ends in half so I have a loop. I'm working from the front to the back. And I'm going to open up the loop and bring the raw ends through. That's going to give me a finished front with the tails for my tag. Now, I did not seal this. I actually used the ribbon to do that. You're going to want to make sure you use your bone folder so that these creases are nice and crisp so that it will fold nicely and lay nicely when you're done. Let's do some stamping now for the dog. I'm going to go ahead and take his little body and ink him up. And I'm going to stamp him down here. There we go. So we have his body. On a scrap piece of white cardstock, I'm going to ink up his head. I wanted him to be 3D, so that's why I'm doing him separately. You can leave his nose plain if you want, but I chose to use the basic gray marker just to fill this in a little bit. Now I realize he's black and his nose is gray, but I liked a little bit of a contrast. And then I'm going to use my paper snips and I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to leave a little bit of white cardstock around it as I cut. It's going to leave me with this. So now I'm going to grab my dimensionals and you know if you've followed my videos I keep small pieces in my stamp studio all the time just for small projects like this so that they'll fit well. And then I'm going to mount his little head right here. Now let's go ahead and color in his sweater. I'm using the real red marker and I'm going to color in his sweater. I'm also going to color in his collar and his tag and this time I'm using the smoky slate and then I'm using 14 inches of the thin taffeta ribbon and I love this ribbon because it has a nice little white edge on it. This is going to go around the whole pocket card and then I'm just going to finish it off with a knot on this side and my finished tag will go right inside here. Now it just can't get any simpler but let me show you a variation. I came up with this 
after I came up with this. This is actually a full-size card that fits in the pocket, and I went around the edges with Baker's Twine. This little guy was from the stamp set for Peep's Sakes, and of course, Peep's are candies, and I love that little glimmer I added to him with a little bit of Dazzling Diamonds. This inset just so that you know in case you prefer to make it this way. It's three and three quarters by five inches so that it'll fit inside that same pocket. So it's exactly the same pocket, just two different variations of how you can do it. That's it for this week. Make sure you go over to my blog, check out my newsletter subscription. We'd love to have you join us. And don't forget to subscribe also to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss anything I have coming up. Thanks for watching and have a great week.